first world countries, and third world countries. For those of you who have moderate to extremely good counting skills, and maybe even those of you who are below average in the area of study, you may have noticed that it goes from 1 to 3, and there's one number missing. Anyways, are there second world countries? And more importantly, why are digits assigned to different areas of the world? A long time ago, if you count the 1950s a long time ago, in a France far, far away, depending on the scale you're using and the assumption that you're not watching this video from France. So, what was one of the most notable scenarios of the latter half of the 20th century? Nothing other than the Cold War, of course. Back to the French. A French demographer and anthropologist, Alfred Sauvy, coined the term Third World. He based it on the third estate of pre-revolutionary France, who were the commoners and were not involved with the nobility or clergy, and generally had no say in what went on with anything important in the country. The same could be said for third world countries. They were not involved in the massive war of ideologies concerning the superpowers who pretty much ran the show. As you can guess, first and second world countries were made from Sovi's coinage of the term third world, referencing the clergy and the nobility, the first and second estates of pre-revolutionary France, although which one is which hardly matters. As you pass that counting exam from earlier, well, hopefully, you might be able to deduce that the first world is referencing the capitalist superpowers, while the second world refers to the communist nations opposing the West. So, in the simplest terms possible, first world equals US, UK, Canada and their allies, aka the Western Bloc, second world equals the communist nations such as China, the Soviet Union and their allies, aka the Eastern Bloc, third world equals nations not aligned with either. Simple, right? Not really. What's the point of me making a video if there isn't going to be some confusion? Usually, things tend to change once a team loses its star player. Not this type of star, but that type of star. Once the Soviet Union was taken off life support, the Second World lost its power, and has never come close to reacquiring it. Once the Cold War was over, the term Second World became useless, and the system of terms changed. The First World still came to mean the capitalist powers of the world, while the Third World came to mean underdeveloped and impoverished nations. However, these new definitions are considered to be outdated, and their only real use is in popular culture and everyday usage. So, technically, if you went by the original definitions, which are by far the most sensical of the two, Sweden, Finland, and Switzerland, among other countries, would be third world countries, as they remain neutral in the Cold War. On the other hand, countries like Namibia and Angola were considered first world countries, although they are far from economic powers. So, we have three worlds. Except there's a fourth. The fourth world was coined separately from the other three worlds. The fourth world means nomadic hunters, gatherers, subpopulations, native groups, or groups living in third world conditions in a first world country. Although the term is not fully accepted. All of these worlds that we've been talking about are under the three world model. The confusion only gets more confusing when you introduce the three world theory. The three world theory was introduced by Mao Zedong, the Chinese revolutionary. It describes the first world as superpowers, the second world as lesser powers, and the third world as exploited nations. If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, then you think that this better describes the three world model we have today. And although that's kind of right, the two systems have nothing to do with each other. So to summarize, the second world is no longer used because the USSR isn't around anymore, and the system has been altered to stereotype rich and poor countries, which kind of describes the three world theory, which is ironically, a theory of the second world of the three world model. Thanks for watching.